Welcome back adventurers to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are on our way back to the old Lady Dolores to see if she knows that her brother has been killed by her lover. And uh, yeah, if she wants to return to her manor now that the ghosts are gone. So let's see. There's no question mark on the way. So I think we can just ride back. Roach! Haven't seen you in a while. There's no path there. But we can ride through the woods, no problem. Um, what is that? Maybe that is a problem. But I don't think we have to cross... Oh, that should be Lindenvale? It is. Why is there a broken bridge? Huh. Come on now. Is there something underneath? Let's see. I need to investigate. Oh no, it's just a broken bridge. Oh, there's something beyond. Okay, okay. Let's not go there. <laughs> now, where is Dolores? Is she still standing there and crying? I guess so, right? To the forest for brushwood. No, no, she's in the pub, maybe? Oh, we haven't been in there, have we? I can read that. What is that? The inhabitants of the villages of Downwarren and Lindenvale are hereby ordered to report to the Nilfgaardian Army Group Center Camp to perform labor for the Empire. Lists of assigned residents and their designated days of service have been provided to the village eldermen. Those caught evading their duties shall be flogged. Commander, Army Group Center Camp. Okay. We are not a resident. So, ah, here. There she is. And this be the witch. You've returned. What's become of my home? It is safe, yeah. It's safe now. Got some hard news too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall. And this. So, Roderick, my husband, he killed him. Gods. Sorry. The truth can be cruel, but uh, one can't turn back time. And. Perchance, did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah, pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. So she didn't know. Okay. She still has a question mark. But that's it. Good day. Okay, the fall of the House of Riordan is updated and completed. Mm. Nice. Hey. Yeah, swift kick in the arse. <laughs> what? <laughs> this be the witch, is there anybody nature. else <laughs> interesting? No peasants? Where's the innkeeper? There is no innkeeper <laughs> here. Sir? Sir? <laughs> Old man. I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Arr. No, you didn't. Peasant. Henchman. Henchman. Okay, no innkeeper here. Ladies, Fair enough. Where's all that faith coming from? Well, in that case, I think we leave. Is that a merchant? Yeah. Have you checked him out? Yeah, I think so, right? Interesting? Oh! Wait! No, we didn't. Christiana and Isidore. And I have none of these. Well, 
as I have enough money, I buy them all, I think. It's Nilfgaardian cards. Yeah. I don't have a Nilfgaardian set yet. Chortler. Hmm. Is that better than we have 30 maximum? No, I think that's what we have. Let's buy that. That's a quest. <laughs> Farewell. Can I read it? Is it that it is? Christiana did not care a whit for her stepmother's admonitions. She would toss off her ragged food wrapping, food wrappings and walk barefoot instead. She would wear a coviri lace and batting knickers under her rough hair, hair shirt. And when dusk fell and the other novices dutifully went to offer their evening prayers, she would slip off quietly, quietly and run down the bay where Isidore awaited her. This merry devil was thick as a barn and had hooves instead of feet, but Tristiana liked him all the same more than anyone else in the world. For him, she broke off her betrothal and defied her family's will. She knew that if their bond was ever discovered, both she and Isidore would be burned at the stake. And so in the dark hours of night, she planned their escape. That's dark. But... What did we get that for? Are there new things here? I don't think so. Huh. Oh, there is an innkeep. Now I see it on my map. Oh, there he is. Greetings. Greetings to you too. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. What does he have? I have that. Commander's Horn. I think we have one of these. The other things I don't need. Okay, never mind. Oh, maybe he can buy something? Would he? No. No, he wouldn't. Maybe these things here. Platter. Um. Could sell him that and that. Okay, cool. Farewell. So, I have no idea why we got that book, or what quest that belonged to. So either we will find out later, or I don't know. There are fishermen here. Huh. Let's have a look at what we can do. There are no question marks here. That is too high level for us. Um, we can check out that or we could go into that region, but we are here because of um, the crones of Crookback Bark and that's level 6. So I think we should do that. Find the crones of Crookback Bark. Use the witcher senses to find the shrine that marks the start of the trail of treats and we heard of that so many times now that I'm really curious what's that all about and we are level 9 already so we shouldn't delay it too much before we do so though I think I'm using my character points that we have we can upgrade either that or that we have two points or do we want to have something new? I don't think so. Let's upgrade these things here. Because we are using them. And I think that's a good idea. Yeah, fast attack damage increased. And um, more adrenaline points. And I think with this we can deflect arrows. Uh, perfectly timed parries. Reflect arrows back at the attacker. That's something, or oh, that could be useful. What's the next? Perfectly time parries uh, reflect back arrows and deal double damage. That's not bad either. Okay, we can try that. So, find the crones. Where can we find the crones? I think down there in this swamp. Oh yeah, here. So, is there something on the way 
it doesn't seem so. If you don't want to go there, that is our direct route. So, oh, go away. <laughs> so yeah, that's where you go. Roach. Move it. That's travel there. Come on now. Oh, it's that hut. Huh. Move it. I think we can just go straight there without even bothering for a way. Oh, there is a path though. Come on now. Oh. Dead deer? Wolves, most probably. Oh, there's more dead. Was that me? Or are they not dead? What happened here? I think that is some quest, isn't it? Uh oh. Do I want to know that? Um. I'm not so sure. Something big was here. I mean, let's go. I would love to know if um, we picked that quest up. So maybe if I investigate, I get an update or I get the quest. But I really don't want to find out big. what happened here. Really big. Mysterious tracks. Oh yeah, no. Uh uh. We don't want to know. It's really big. Really big. <laughs> so let's just uh, go back to our main quest. Oh, 20. Crazy stuff. Maybe that's the guy we met in the crypt in the last episode? I don't know. Give me up. He was big. So maybe he just came by? That's the camp we cleared, I think. Ooh. What is that? Faster. Just a random hut? Or is there something here? Huh. I hear wolves, I think. Let's not get distracted. <laughs> I try. Deer? That's fine. I can deal with deer. Slow now. Whoa. What is that? There's so many random places with stuff like emerald dust in a little camp here. Huh. Pretty cool. Oh, look at the crows! And that tree up there, that is so cool. Oh my Take goodness! What is that? Is that a real person? No, but there... There are trees. Okay, I think we found the shrine. Maggots? Um... Okay. Forbidden cookies. That's disgusting. 
I'm on the right path. Okay, we are following the trail of treats. These are no treats though, I think. But these are... Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, everywhere. Megadi cookies. Cookies. Where do they lead though? I think I don't even need my Witcher senses. I see them hanging everywhere. And there are these flowers too. Uh, and there are totems too. They don't look too friendly. Oh gosh. What the frick? We go deeper and deeper into the swamp. But there are huts. Okay. Somebody lives here. There's smoke. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer. Shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire. Gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. Oh. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. Hmm. Let's not ask about a witch. Let's ask about Siri. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Oof. Hmm. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Hmm. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. We can search for them. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales. Nor but tales. That's all pretty weird. Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. 
daughter and her sister. A bit of help, please? A young ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Hmm. That wasn't too helpful. Gren, Ladies of the Wood is updated. But I don't know more than before. Go to the hut and talk to the boy. The boy she is courted in? Yeah, seems so. Can I go to the other huts though? They're locked. There's something suspicious around here. I have a new marker. I mean, this seems to be an okay place for orphans. They have to go somewhere. Ooh, journey to the end of the world. That's pretty cool. Sirens, the harpies, distant relatives, a winged monster found in the Skellige archi archipel archipelago, most frequently on unpopulated isles or in the inaccessible coastal areas of populated ones. Accor according to legend, they are daughters of the mythical winged giant Reswilk, who lives on the edge of the world and, birth and births scales with the waving of his wings. Resvelk's daughters seek out the company of giants and often make their nests near their lairs. These creatures attack boats and ships from the air, tearing sails and rigging to shreds and tendering and rendering the vessels Im immobile. At times they will snatch men or cattle from the deck and drop them from great heights to their death. They also attack travelers trekking across isolated beaches. Arrhenius, why do they have such terrible books here for the children? Succubi. Okay. Hmm. Anything else here? No. So let's get in there. But she's there too. These children don't talk anymore, right? And a wolf friend is left. Yep, Whoa. that's me. A fighter. Exactly. You're too, a little one. Be coming home for more. Okay, okay. Can I see where they are? She's here. And he's here too. Ah, uh, maybe I can now talk. A rope. Maybe I shouldn't take their stuff, but it's so tempting. <laughs> yeah, look at that. They don't need that, do they? It's alcohol. Not good for kids. Can I take the books? There are more beds. And a corner chest. Nice. Okay. So... Do we talk to Gren or do we talk to the boy? Dravik. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. They won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. What would I do with kids? You don't want to talk to me. Hmm. Is that a threat? I don't want to threaten the kid. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Oh. That 
didn't work out well. What is this? What? Nothing for you here. Stay away from the kids. Find a way to lure Kren away. Ah. Okay, cool. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Hmm. I don't think she hurts them. She seems to be um, strict, but not evil. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. The boy who plays with Johnny. He must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. <laughs> Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Okay, we can do that. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three... 18, 19, 20. That's amazing. Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come. I love it. So I saw one back there. I have witcher senses, that's mean. Shall I cheat? I think I have to, right? Somebody in here? <laughs> I knew it. See you. Come out. Jenny, got you first. <laughs> okay, I need my witcher senses because I can really can't see them. I just saw her going that way, so that was very suspicious. Oh, all right, so I take that too. Cornwood. Now, where are the others there? I think for the others, we need the Witcher senses from the start. Oh, we can even see their their footprints. That is amazing. Where did you go? Ha! Gotcha. There you are. Yagna. Found me. Yep, I did. It's a bit cheaty, isn't it, as a Witcher? But as long as they have fun, it's okay, I think. Do we hear something? I hear frogs. Ha! What's that? Got a feed. Oh, Jenny, I already found you. Somebody's in here, though. Ha! That wasn't a good hiding place, Mikula. How'd you find me? Well, that was easy. Need to hide better from the black ones, okay? No. How many more? One more. Oh, the last one's hidden bell. Let's see. Uh, yeah, only frogs here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's that? In the... Ah, no, out of there. <gasps> There's another sound. That doesn't sound too friendly. Okay, out of the window. Oh, here! No one left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage. No, we'll talk about your promise. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! <laughs> they are 
are amazing. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. <laughs> Very trustworthy. Hmm. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me. Said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. Hmm. I think that doesn't really matter because they are orphans of war. And I don't know if I have time to talk about everything. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. So, a strange tree. Wonder where he's from. Hmm. From Rivia? Can we just get out now? Without her seeing us? Where are they? Oh, there. <laughs> That's amazing. What is this? What? Okay, we are fine. The kids are fine. So look for Johnny in the swarm using your witcher senses. Okay, okay, I'll do. Nothing here though, so the kids are okay. I wonder if she put those up to scare people away. I mean, Cran. That might be possible, right? Uh oh, look whom we have there. Some drowners. Oh no, oh what the heck. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't see her. I think. No hacks are terrible. No hacks. Burn. Get away from me. Oh, 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 dang. <laughs> We're in trouble. Don't lead him to the kids. Okay, you're good. You're good. Ooh. Where's the hag? There's the hag. Take that. Ooh, got the hag. Hag no more. No joke. If Johnny's real, he must leave prints. Yeah, right. But first, I collect everything. I earned this. Okay, there's something still. 
Let's kill that what there is first. I think it's another drowner, right? Damn, you're up Yeah. <laughs> He's in the ground though. So it's not that ugly. Come on. <laughs> now. Ooh. Let's search for Johnny. Is that the tree? Ah. There are footprints. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. But he walked in a circle. Into that direction. Uh huh, uh huh. Is there more terribleness? No, I think we're good. Oh, wow. Leading quite far away. Isn't it? Okay. It's quiet, though. Oh, the burrow. And there's the totem, too. The tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Shall we? Oh, yeah. We don't crawl in. We call. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? Hmm. You know the kids? I mean... He obviously can't talk. So... It's no use asking him, right? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? Yeah, obviously. No choice, I guess. <laughs> okay. Johnny the Godling. Where do we go? Uh oh. Johnny. Johnny, be careful. Don't run into there. Just like that. I think he's hiding and we have to fight, right? Well, Damn it. that's fire mark then. run through that. It's poison. They didn't drop anything. Where is he? There. There's honey. So that's still all level 6. We should have no problem dealing with whatever, whatever um, will come of that. I hope. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Hmm. 
guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> if I press uh, E to talk, they're just three dots. What do we have here? Isn't that where we came from? Okay. Let's check it out then. Just in case. Oh, there used to be a bridge. I hear something. Oh! Harpies? Is that what we are dealing with? Where are we on the map? So it's not where we came from. We are... Oh, we came through here, I think. Yeah, here was the shrine where Roach is parked. I think it's Harpies, right? Yep, it's Harpies. Nice. Oh, Harpies are not that bad to fight. And I get a lot of these um, one strike chances with them. A wyvern there. Who invited you to the party? But it's a level 6 wyvern, so that should be easier than the last one we killed. <laughs> Let's get a bit of distance here and uh, Quen up and then I think we can Igni it. There's another Harpy too. There we go. Hmm, wow. Still have to be careful. It's not over yet. But now it is. Oh yeah. Okay, that wasn't bad. Ooh, look at that. Dragon egg. And blue muted chance. I like that. And green ones. Like those too. Like all of them. Now let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Seal bottle and raven's feather. Maybe he meant this bottle. Okay, got it. Is there anything else here? Nope. Why do we need raven's feathers? I think we'll find out. Here. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Well, thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yep. <laughs> uh. How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out. A smudger! A smudger! And sick their dogs on me! Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. 
so it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. Oh, that's why we uh, found the feathers, I think. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. <laughs> Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. <laughs> I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. That's when he lost his voice? Hmm. And the bang must have been her teleporting. Know anything about the crones? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Hmm. Sounds pleasant. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> uh, he's amazing. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. No, oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Okay. Can I pick up the bottle again? I saw it during the conversation, but it's gone. Hey, that's pretty amazing. What's that? Wait, Johnny. I have to investigate. There is something. Somebody lives here? Oh, oh! Not really. It's crowners. Oh! He died just there at the doorstep. And this guy too. Oh, in a very unpleasant... Wait. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, it's locked. But there's somebody. There's light in a fire. Hello! Maybe the crones? I don't see anybody in there. Okay, never mind. Give me your tongue. I think I needed tongues for something. In my alchemy section. Uh oh. Are we still on level six here? Watch out! Watch out! Oh. 
That was a waste. Frozen, I think. Oh no, another hag! Dang it, hag. She's throwing something? I have to fire her up. That's what works best with Hex. From the fiery water. Uh, from the watery kind. Oh, dang. She wasn't too impressed this time. Okay, Quinn. At least she doesn't throw stuff at me. That's what her colleague did. <laughs> ah! Got her. And my sword broke. <gasps> yeah, they do have the water essence. So it's the hex. Dang. Now that I bought it. Oh, there's a dead guy. Man. Okay, the others didn't drop anything. No. And we have to repair that sword. Ah, that's a shrine to the crones with the crows. Oh, dang. That doesn't look too nice, I have to say. Now, where do we go? John, you lead on. Not through the poison. Ah, there we are already. Good, good. Now, what do we do? Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. <laughs> You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Okay. No, we don't want to get to the crones. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. <laughs> Aww. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. 
before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? That's creepy. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> what? Matters to me. Yeah. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. What dagger? A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I don't know if it's a deal, but I don't have a choice, it seems. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Oh, good. Woman, give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. That looks cheap. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone ears. Creepy. Look at the eye up there. Can I touch it myself? No. Maybe it's better that way. Be gone. You ought not to be here. Mm. So that's her little sanctuary here. I'll make a light for you. And there are skulls everywhere. I wonder from whom and who made all this and those things there what are they for let's take everything she doesn't seem to bother what the frick okay um gran i'm in your cellar for a second okay Ugh. 
bread. Gosh. What a crazy place. There are cages. They look like rabbit cages or something. There are dead people here. Ugh. So does she kill them? Whoever comes here or what is happening here? And is that human flesh? No, it's not. That's a pig. That's not so pleasant. Like the picture above. Maybe that shows their, their true character. Human sacrifices or what? Yeah. Totally normal. Nothing to see here. Okay. I think uh let's see what she cooks. Don't wanna know. It's empty. Whew. Glad. <laughs> what is that? There's a bird sitting there. Ooh, nice. You know what? I stand here and end the episode. Yeah, look at that. It's like a dead swan, but terrible. So yeah, I, I stand here so that I don't forget to loot that uh, at the beginning of, of the next episode. So that we can read it too. And uh, I'll end this one. Because, my gosh, that is creepy here. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.